When you go to Baltimore, when you go every city, major city you go, well, while you see our people at, we are at a lower state. Why? Because we don't, one of the reasons why we're just going over a marriage. The black and Hispanic man don't honor marriage anymore. You understand? That's one of the reasons why we suffer. The sisters today don't even honor marriage. Like I was telling the brother, it was at one point in the 80s and 90s, that was the, 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 the latest of it. Even in the 80s and 90s, our sisters at one point, demanded marriage out of the man. If you want to sleep with me, you got to marry me. A lot of sisters used to say that. Now, hey, how you doing, my sister? Now, today, turn, the sister don't even want to get married no more. What's up? So, like, when you say marriage, do you mean, like, like traditional marriage or, like, love? No, okay, we're gonna show you out of the Bible what marriage we're talking about. Give me that in Tobit. Give me that. Tobit 7. So you cause you wanna so you your question is uh, what marriage we're talking about. We everything we're talking about is what God talking about. We are the mouth of God for you today. If you got questions for God, he ain't gonna come down and talk to you. You know how people say, the Lord talked to me and told me this. The Lord, the Lord ain't told you a damn thing. Right. You understand? This is how you see what the Lord says. He already put his word here on the earth you just have to pick it up and read it and most people don't understand it so that's why he said you know what i'm gonna raise man up to give you to understand it so now we're gonna answer your question read that this is the book of Tobit, chapter 7 verse 13. then he called his daughter sarah and she came to her father and he took her by the hand and gave her to be wife to tobias so we say he gave her to be a wife to another brother by the name of tobias read say Behold, take her after the law of Moses. Take her what? After the law of Moses. So take her out of the custom or the laws of Moses that you read in the first five books. Read. And lead her away to thy father. Uh -huh. And he be and he blessed them. So he took the sister and led her to the father, and the father approved of it. Why? Because they proved each other. It was a proven process that went on between these two, like we read about earlier. And the father approved of it. So on both parties, his father approved and her father approved. Read. And called Edna, his wife, uh -huh. and took paper. And did what? Took paper. Okay. And did write an instrument of covenant. So it was an instrument of covenant through, through the, and they took papers and wrote it. Today we call that, we have to do what? Go to the judge. You call, huh? Like a marriage license? Like a, there you go, a marriage license. So he went to the, in today's time we got to go to the judge, they got to seal it. And you gotta get signed, both of y'all sign off agreeing to the uh, the covenant of marriage. That's the custom we talking about. Because that's the custom God's talking about. You understand that? That was our custom that they took. Right, that was our custom that they took. The, the things that you see set up today are, th are ways we was already living at one point, at one particular time. No, read on. And sealed it. And did what? Sealed it. Meaning they put the seal on it. They, 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 they sealed it, read. Then they began to eat. So that seal is going into what we call it now when they um bubble, mo notarize it. Notary. You, you ever heard of the notary, right? Read. Then they began to eat after Reguel called his wife Edna. And then they had a marriage feast. Read. And said unto her, Sister, prepare another chamber and bring her in and thither. And now there was a, it was a custom where after they did because at that time it was virgins, right? So well, it was a chamber set up after you get married, you had to go and consecrate the marriage, okay? And you had a token of virginity, which was on the sheets of you breaking the woman's hymen, which is right there by her, uh, her, her when, you, when you're going in her. She bleeds, you, have a, you understand when you have sex with a virgin, and you go in her, she gonna bleed. This is her first time being having sex. That's what they were doing because that was our custom. And they come back out with the sheets showing everybody this sister was a virgin. There was proof of it right there. You know what I'm saying? Because it was serious. We don't take none of that stuff serious no more. This is why we, this is why we had a lower estate. You understand? This is why we, everywhere you go, we, we, you understand? We, 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 we are the way we are. Like lower estate, we think low. We last higher, we first fire. You understand? 
We shoot each other up. We play music degrading our own. You understand? It's one sister, I can't even think of her name. She got the, the awfulest song, but it's a club banger right now talking about hanging out a window with her ratchet ass friends. You, you understand? You seen that video? You see the you see God has told her they was holy, but if, are we do we act holy? Look at what the, the the music we promote. We the only nation of people that make music and jump up and down and bob into the destruction of our own. We the only nation that do that. But when you read our history, we was a great, dignified, royal people. That's right. You understand? But we have fell low from that. But what we trying to do now, my brother, what's your name again? William, what we trying to do now is give you back your history so you can understand how you must walk going forward. You understand? All right, this is, and these are God's words. Read on. Which, when she had done as he had bidden her, she brought her thither, and she wept, and she received the tears of her daughter. So that was it on that point. It's more. It's a lot more. So my brother, what's your name with the Lakers shirt? Caleb. What's what about you, bro? Yuri, Caleb. Shannon. Shannon, that's them your sons, Shannon? Yes, sir. Okay, all crazy. That's they all praise to the most high. So what we're going over right now, Shannon, is one of the reasons why we suffer in our communities, the black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman. Why we suffer everywhere you go in, in everywhere you go on the earth, in, in particular in the United States. When you go to Baltimore, when you go every city, major city you go, well, why you see our people at? We are at a lower state. Why? Because we don't, one of the reasons why we just going over a marriage. The black and Hispanic man don't honor marriage anymore. You understand? That's one of the reasons why we suffer. The sisters today don't even honor marriage. Like I was telling the brother, it was at one point in the 80s and 90s, that was the, 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 the latest of it. Even in the 80s and 90s, our sisters at one point demanded marriage out of the man. If you want to sleep with me, you got to marry me. A lot of sisters used to say that. Now, hey, how you doing, my sister? Now, in today's term, the sister don't even want to get married no more. Yeah. So it's on both points. How you doing, sister? What's your name? Tiana. Sure, that's what we out here for. Doing what now? Doing. Right, they're not married. We 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 be getting on a man too, sister. Damn. See, that's what. And these are the these are the reasons why we going through what we going through, my sister. But go ahead, I'm listening. No, it's, it's about everybody. It's about all of us, sister. That's what we trying to teach. Hold on. How long, how long did you come up? How long ago did you hear us? Because what we were... the morning. You've been hearing us since this morning? Yeah. So we've been going over righteous things in the Bible. We're just going over marriage. It's always about the Bible. How about what y'all do in, in a community? It's not That's what we're talking about. The Bible is about nation building. About Give me uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1. About, it's all about Zephaniah 21. I'm Jehovah's Witness. Sister, 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 no. calm down. What we out here trying to do, we out here doing a great work to fix the community. You have to be humble enough to listen. This is what's wrong with our people right here. The woman thinks she knows something. She coming all man up and she came boldly voiced her opinion. She can't do nothing with none of us. You know what I'm saying? If it came down to it, but she came boldly voiced her opinion and it didn't mean anything. What she was saying was garbage. You understand? We've been hearing that for the longest. That was nothing. But let's see what God got to say. Because that's what we, we, we tired of hearing these brothers and sisters speak out of their own mouth. We want to hear the words of God. All right, let's read this real quick. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation, not desire. So this is a command. What's she talking about? We t God told us to gather ourselves together. That's talking about man, woman, and child of the black and Hispanics to gather together. Okay, and do what? And start to keep his commandments, okay? Live righteously amongst each other, all right? That's what God, that's one of the commandments God uh, got for us. What's your question, bro? So that last thing that you read, uh, it talked about like marriage, like most of the time, right? So like, so like with that statement, right? Does that sound like, are you saying like marriage should only be like, so you're saying like no gay marriage yeah. and like, so are you saying like, like polyamory? Uh, what was that? Like, like polygamy? Polygamy? Yeah. So, no, according to the Bible, get that. Uh, uh, give me just one, one quick. First Corinthians 7 and 1. Hey, Shannon, my brother's question was, uh, do we believe in polygamy or do the Bible teach polygamy? You know what polygamy means, right? Polygamy 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's multiple women, right? Multiple wives. Let's see what God says. This is the Apostle Paul reading. Reading. Uh, read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, uh -huh. let every man have his own wife. His own wives. And let every woman have her own husband. Just read it again from the top. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. So let every man have his own wife. That's, that's uh, singular. That's not plural. You understand? So that means one woman. Every man have his own wife. One wife. Read. And let every woman have her own husband. One husband, one wife, one husband. That's what marriage is. What we just read in the book of Tobit, it said it was Tobias and it was Sarah. There was one wife and one husband. You understand? So no, it's not about polygamy. And you said something about uh, same-sex marriage as well, right? So let's get that in Romans. One. Go ahead. Because the reason why I said that is because you said like in the days of Moses, and I believe Moses had two wives. Am I correct? No. Moses only had one wife. You sure? Yeah. Moses only had one wife. It was she was a uh, she was of other she was of another nation because um, he was gone for so long. So the Lord kind of gave him a, a leeway to actually have a wife because he needed one. That was a pass that Moses got because of the way the Lord set up everything for him in particular. But God is about Israelite marriage. He's not so that means no God is not God is anti. Uh, what is it called? When, Racial marriage? Interracial marriage. Interracial marriage, right. God is anti interracial marriage. The Most High God is not about us marrying outside of our race. He won't, he won't, the Israelites, the blacks and Hispanics, to marry one another. You understand? Read what, what you got. What I got you holding? Romans. Because you said something about uh, same sex marriage, right? All right, hold that and give me the one in um, Leviticus 18. I want you to listen good because what's going on to, in today's earth is totally against God. The world we live in and the society we live in is contrary to everything God says. Right. But yet still they set up things called churches, whorehouses. You understand? With churches, they, they, they everywhere and none of them teaching thus saith the Lord out of the Bible. If they did, they'll be teaching this scripture right here. All right, my brothers, read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. Uh -huh. If a man also lie with mankind, uh -huh. as he lieth with a woman. Listen up, black man. The brother had a question about um, same-sex marriage. Let's see what God says about same-sex marriage. Read. If a man also lie with mankind, Come on. as he lieth with a woman. As a man lie with a, another man, as he's supposed to lie down with a woman. Read. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them. If you're a man and you land with another man, God said you have committed an abomination. Abomination is a filthy, disgusting act in the eyesight of God. Read. They shall surely be put to death. What did God say about homosexuality? Be put to death. Sodom, sodomites? To death. You understand that? So if you in same-sex marriage, God said that that's abomination and you are not to do that. You understand? And the judgment is death behind that. Okay? Because, and it has that death in today's time is because if two men constantly lay down for, with each other, so you can understand, if everybody slept with the same race, right? Same oh, and sex. A, the same sex. If everybody slept with the same sex for 100 years, guess what will happen to the human uh, race? It will be no more. You understand that? So that's why, that's another way death will ha happen. Two men can't make a, a baby. Two women laying down can't make a child. You understand that? So did I ask you a question? Yeah, that's my question. But I got another question. What's up? So like, my question is, right? So that's the King James Bible, right? Yep. So like... Somebody give me the uh, Bible dictionary. But like, no, since that's like the King James Bible, mm -hmm. is it like kind of like... Because I know like the Bible has different variations, and mm -hmm. like each time the Bible mm -hmm. has been different stages. So like, is the King James Bible, in your opinion, as valid as, for example, like the Ethiopian Bible? So, when you talk about the Ethiopian Bible and the, and the other, other translations, right, we're going to get the history on what happened and took place with the King James Bible first, so you can understand what happened. Because King James, a lot of people think he wrote the Bible, but he didn't. He authorized the Bible. He mean, he, he, he authorized it or gave the authority for it to be translated. You understand? So he authorized it to be what put translated into English? He never wrote it. You remember this? He was a king at one point in England. Read that when you get it. All right. King. Well, call it. Call it and see what he's reading. So this is the this is the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary. These are written by the scholars. That's something that they know. These are written by by, by your today's scholars. All right. Read. 
King James Version. Uh -huh. With Elizabeth died in 1603, uh -huh. the crown passed to James I, uh -huh. who had been king of Scotland for 37 years. So King James was a black man, by the way, and he ruled Scotland. Will you, will you think, so have you ever heard of the term of Dark Ages? Dark Ages when the so-called blacks ruled Spain and we was calling ourselves Moors over there in Spain. They still got monuments today of our people when we was in rulership over there. You see men of black statues with, uh, you see black statues with men of power over in Europe today. Because we ruled Europe for over a thousand years and calling ourselves Moors. That's what you call today the Dark Ages, okay? And a lot of these scholars know that too. That's what they're writing about right now. Read. Who had been king of Scotland for 37 years as James V, the uh -huh. sixth. Several months after he ascended the throne of England, he authorized a new translation of the Bible to replace the Bishop's Bible. Uh, 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. So this is a man with authority. He gathered together 47 of, what did it say? 37. Uh, 47. Uh, 47 of Hebrew and Greek scholars. Meaning what? He got them together, but they were scholars, meaning they were scholars in the language of Hebrew and Greek. He was, they were scholars, meaning they studied it all day and all night. You understand? So he got it together, 47 of them. So it couldn't be one leaning into their own private interpretation. They had the council together. You understand? And come up with an agreement on what something meant. Nobody could say, oh, I think this means this and I'm going to run with it. They counseled together, all of them, and agreed before any word was jotted down. You understand that? Read. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. So out of these 47, he divided them into six groups. Read on. Three of the OT. Three of the Old Testament. So three of the groups was to what? Translated from uh, Hebrew into English. Three of those groups out of the six. Which, all right, read. Two for the New. Two for the New Testament. Come on. And one for the Apocrypha. And one for the Apocrypha. Okay. So when you talk about the translation to the Bible, this is what took place years ago. King James gave the authority for them to translate it from Hebrew to the Greek. So this is basically the purest form of the Bible you're going to see in today's term. Give me um, uh, Revelations 2 and 25. I want you to understand this, my brother, and we're going to leave you with this, and we hope to see you soon. We got a school where we teach young men how to be men. You understand? How to live according to the scripture so we can rule this earth again. Contrary to popular belief, the black and Hispanic man is going to rule the nation one day. When, when, when we get a return of our Lord Jesus the Christ, we're going to rule this earth and the rest of the nations in it. You understand that? Don't you want to be a part of that rulership? Bruh, I'm telling you, all the nations are going to be bowing down to us, but God is waking up young men today so they can repent before he bring Christ to bring the boom. Okay? Thermonuclear destruction is coming to America. Yes. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and 25. Come on. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Read it again. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Christ said hold fast to the Bible till I come. Then he's going to drop the pure knowledge. Meaning what? Everything here is sufficient for us to do what we got to do to get back in order and rule the nations. That's right. Okay? Everything is written in here, brother. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is